So welcome guys to my new channel called LDW Adventures. In this very first episode I'm shooting, we, um, we're gonna go to the Parisian catacombs. It's a big labyrinth under Paris. We're gonna explore that shit. We're gonna spend two nights in there and I don't know what we're gonna do and what we're gonna see. So I'm really nervous to go again. We will go alone for the first time. So it's gonna be really great. Yeah, I hope you guys will like it. So let's go. To Paris. <laughs> Sur la poème Évoque, vogue nos chimères Le cap sur leur fredaine Il y a des cigales dans la fourmilière Et vous ne pouvez rien y faire Il y a des cigales dans la fourmilière Mais c'est pour ça que j'espère so guys, we're just in the catacombs right now. As you can see, we're taking a break. Have some drinks, some good times. So the catacombs are actually um, limestone quarries under Paris. In the late 1700s, they put like six million human remains in here. It's like one of the biggest labyrinths in the world. It's like 300 kilometers of ancient tunnels and mass graves under Paris. We are just exploring with a few friends in here. And uh, yeah, it's really great. We're just having a break. We're heading to the bones. Smedes, Ketafels are people who come, uh, come a lot down here and explore the place and everything. But I can show you some. And I will turn it around so you can have a look. As you can see, there are bones here. You see it? for the Moors are actually um, places on the cemeteries um, where they put the bones of the six million people. So it's really big. I can show you some what we are doing over here. It's really great. Let's have a look. Turn around the camera. We are sitting in a, in a little place. It's called the Rodu Center. Just sitting down here. It's really great here. <laughs> so yeah, we're um, heading forward to the Cairo for the Moors in about a few minutes, so we'll catch you up later, guys. We're heading uh, towards uh, the Cairo for the Moors. Just met uh, two catafalques down here, and um, they take us. It's a long walk. We are already, already walking for like two and a half hours. Honestly, it's so amazing to explore this place. It's so big. Hey, trust me, if you ever come into the catacombs, it's such the most amazing thing you gotta do in your life. It's like when you come down here, there's like a community of catafels. But if they like you, they accept the way you are. They have parties over here, they make art over here, they get everything over here. Honestly, they're not a really open to take people down so you have to be really lucky to find one and I was that lucky that I found one I explore, explored more and more the catacombs and uh, I'm ready to go at my own I hope <laughs> you never know so as you see we entering different different hallways again it's so strange to see it at all because it's one of the time you have to like straight carries like this. Or one of the time you have big out carries, one of the time you have like um, stone seven carries here. You can see it really good out here. Just have stones everywhere. You go over and you see the official mines. That's pretty amazing to see. 
So over here we have a, a small piece of crawling. So for claustrophobic people, this is not a good thing. We're going in now to crawl. Are you gonna look? No, but okay. It's really small. This can be fun. I know what? If you want to see your bones, just put your back here, your bag here. And pull them. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh fuck. Oh mate. <laughs> you just brought me to heaven. <laughs> Holy crap. So we're just seeing human skulls right now. <laughs> This is so freaking sick, man. What the oh, hell shit. is this guy bringing us to, man? Just met up with a bunch of catafiles inside the catacombs. He's taking us deeper and deeper inside. And it's totally awesome. Look at the bones. Look at the skulls. Dude, where are you guys bringing us? This is insane, man. This is so cool, man. Walks it to the end. Is it all bones? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, shit, mate. <laughs> You're dead. This is walking like a hundred meters or something. Yeah. This is so crazy. And here are actually full skulls. Really? Yeah. Have a look at it. Uh, not totally full, but... Mostly full, so I lay you people down on human bones and I have to crawl a little bit farther. Sorry guys for this. Just throwing you in human bones people. You see this is crazy. Terribly crazy. You see how many freaking bones? Skulls everywhere. Bones and shit. What the hell? Wow. And, and look at that, that this one. Those are stuff. <laughs> this is so freaking awesome. Dude, there's even a fucking. Uh, I got a shit. Oh shit, man. You're so awesome, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this huge bone. Yeah, what the fuck is it? From an elephant or something? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Where is the rest of the of his skeleton? skeleton? I wanna know. I think we have to search. <laughs> <laughs> if you have some weeks to lose. Die. Yeah, I think we're here. Just six million dollars Years and years.
so I honestly have to say, if you guys want to go here, be sure you go with a KFL or someone who got really good maps and know the place because otherwise it's way, 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 way too dangerous to go inside. Sometimes I really ask for myself why I'm so strange. Why I do all these things, why I've been to Chernobyl, why I climb on rooftops, why I go into the Paris catacombs, some of the galleries. But honestly, I don't know the answer. I love the, the thrill. I love the way. I love everything about it. You know, the chance is really big. We got lost in here. I love that risk. It's simply amazing. Some people call it insane. But I call it life. And I think you have to live this shit. You have to see this stuff once, maybe twice, maybe more. I became obsessed with the catacombs, so I uh, have been here already five times. I can do everything I want in here, and that's what I really love about the catacombs. Nobody cares. It started as, as a freaking explorer and a hobby, and it became my passion. You know, it's it's hardly to imagine that you're actually walking in Paris under Paris so we're getting close to the exit now it's like uh, 10 minutes past 9 in the morning we went in uh, around 12 so we have been inside for um, 9 hours we're tired as hell because it was walking all the night we have to uh, go in and the uh, southern parts of the Kittigums and um, we go out in the northern side so we walked all the way from south to north uh, yes I just have to put my camera off for a bit now because it's not allowed to film the entrances so um, they will stay secret it's not allowed to share them with anybody because uh, people will try it and dr destroy things inside here and um, getting lost and the police have to take the people out of it so the police will close the entrances real fast so that's why everybody keeps it like a big secret so we're in uh, some service tunnels right now we have uh, we make uh, our way to the exit I can show you some see there are some odd stuff in here I like cables they are still in use some of them Okay. Yes, yeah, thanks. So that's really a uh, porch to hold That's really uh, really cool to see. It's like a stairway to heaven. You see. Yes. It's 9.15 and we are back on Earth, the normal <laughs> world. Um, we have to go to the, uh, with the metro and um, yes, we have to go like this. So freaking weird, to do, but so freaking funny. Thank you for watching guys. So guys, we are back home after a very great weekend in Paris. We spent two nights on the ground and it was uh, really cool. It's some uh, friends, Wandering Dan from um, London and a girl from the United States, my partner in crime, who will uh, help me with editing my stuff. And uh, we have to go back to normal, work every day. But uh, don't worry, in about uh, three weeks we will go back to London for some extreme rooftops and it's gonna be really, really cool. I hope you guys will uh, like my vlogs. I like this one, my first one. Be sure you give it a like, be sure you subscribe on my channel if you want to follow me. Would be really cool. I hope you guys will, uh, will enjoy it. And uh, we will catch up really soon in London I think. Bye bye guys.